What is up, everybody? Life's Apprentice. I told you guys we had a big announcement, and uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not driving, and it's not Tim. So we're going to be running some dumpsters today and doing some training with Laura, the dumpster diva. Hello. She, uh, she thinks she can hang. So we're going to teach her how to run some dumpsters and hopefully take this business over and we can all make lots and lots of money and grow it. Okay, now you can kind of see you're pretty much straight on. So all you need to do is just back up slow till you hit it. No appliances. Looks an awful lot like an appliance. That was cute. You were really nice with it. Yeah, I was like, I'm not but it's just a big hunk of steel. Yeah, see? That's the worst that happens. Don't be scared of it. Just fuck. The other thing, too, I forgot to tell you, always double check the door. Make sure it's good. You're doing that? Mm -hmm. The whole idea, like when you just pull it onto what we call the stinger, mm -hmm. you get it on like this far. And if you're a little bit crooked, when you tilt that, it has no choice. But to, go. but to go on the rails okay. and you felt when it when when you, when you were pulling it was like eek, 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 eek. that's because you're a little bit crooked so it's grinding on one side of the rail okay. if it gets really bad you get it started like that and you're gonna have to pull forward or back up okay. to get it lined up okay. but you're gonna run into it all the time right but that's so, a little trick I learned that's gotten me out of having to back up or pull forward where it saved me you know and it I mean I don't think you were that crooked where you wouldn't have been able to do it on this one, but it, you never know. Okay. And that it could save you five minutes in frustration. What's got the first one dumped, and Laura's doing great. Um, but I was telling her when you open the door, just be careful because stuff might fall out. And a full beer fell out, and it got like a pinhole in it, and the beer sprayed all over both of us. It was actually really funny. I should have caught that on camera, but I didn't. But we got this 15 yard uh, picked up and dumped and now we're going to go set it. Well, Laura's doing good. And uh, we got the 15 yard to the dump and set. And we just picked up a 20 yard. We're going to go get this one dumped and set. And I believe we have two more that we can set today. Um, as of right now, the phone is absolutely blowing off the hook. We have no dumpsters to sell. And uh, yeah. I don't know. This this week has just been insane. We probably could have sold 12 more dumpsters than we have, but we do not have dumpsters to sell. So it's a good problem to have, but a problem that needs fixed uh, ASAP. Safety chain always first. You get some of these, and it's pressure on that door, and it'll just swing open and slam that chain. What? There you go. Make sure you hold this in so that thing doesn't slap you in the face. Just be ready. Sometimes that door will just go wham! This is super crucial. Always over. You really only need to get it right there. That's all you need. Gotta hold it. And it didn't move. It's just tight in there. Go ahead and pull forward a little bit. So it's not sliding out. So I want you to pull forward like five feet and you're going to go in reverse and slam on the brakes. Yeah. I'm having a little trouble getting it to dump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull forward, reverse, and then slam on the brakes. And there you go. It's not that it wouldn't slide out, it's that it, these boxes were just wedged in there. So it's more or less just holding it from the side. So we stopped on the side of the road. I asked Laura, we're by one of my favorite asparagus spots. And I asked Laura, have you ever had asparagus or found asparagus? And she's like, no. 
So I took her to my favorite spot. It's getting a little late to do asparagus, but uh, she's never had raw asparagus out of a ditch. So little lunch break. So that is seeded asparagus right there. Okay, see it here and here. Do you see that? So you can see right here you can see someone's been in here cutting them too see all these are cut and here's another one right here but see all these are cut so somebody's been eating somebody's been in here eating them all right reaction put it in your mouth Good. tastes like asparagus you can see all these cut stems and uh, you can see somebody's been in here picking but they left us a couple if anyone wondering i don't know asparagus just grows wild around here i don't know if it's like that everywhere i kind of have a feeling it is but this is one of my favorite spots and uh really haven't had a whole lot of time this year to uh, go pick it but i love going picking it and around here i have some good spots where I can literally just fill up a five gallon bucket full of it and we pickle it and I love asparagus. Here's another seeded one right here. And at this time of year, the seeded ones really stand out. You can see somebody got a big stalk off of there. The seeded ones really stand out and this time of year is a good time of year to find a good asparagus spot, but you're not gonna get as much this time of year. Asparagus. Yeah. And there's people starving in this country. It amazes me. Food's everywhere. You just gotta know where to find it. Well, we got lunch. We got some more dumpsters to set, so we're gonna go do that. She just set a 20 yard on a pretty rough driveway. A long country driveway, ditches on both sides, and uh, did pretty good. And the lady we were setting it for didn't want to talk to her. She wanted to talk to me. Bullshit. The woman is sexist. Well, the timing is perfect. I planned it so it would run out while Laura was using it, so we could teach her this. So this is just basically the little generator that runs um, the hydraulics and the tarper. And uh, it just takes regular unleaded. We use premium just because it's a small engine. It doesn't use that much fuel, and premium is no ethanol in it, so it uh, is better for a small engine. But we're at the yard. We have two 20s. Both of these are going out today. We'll be completely sold out. We could have sold easily another 15, 12, 15 dumpsters this week. We just don't have them. And essentially these two have been sitting here all week, but they've been sold since like Tuesday. And uh, you know, it's kind of first come first serve. Somebody calls me on Tuesday and wants it on Friday and I just save it for them. Um, and that's just the way that we, we do it. So we're completely sold out. I'd say the phones rang probably 10 times today and we've had to turn turn people down. It is what it is, but uh, unless we have more dumpsters or get more back, there's not a whole lot we can do about it. Well, we got the first 20 yard set and it was a nice tight driveway. I, I'm so happy when we see these nasty, hard, tough ones when I got Laura with me because it just gives her an opportunity to learn and just see all the different uh, scenarios you can get yourself into. That one was a tough one. Super narrow driveway and there was a telephone pole right on the edge of it. And then they had uh, like patio pavers or landscaping wall on the other side. So extremely tight, extremely tight. But we got it in there, a little, little bit of fuss. It gave us a little bit of fuss. But uh, we're going to get the last 20 yard, get that set and uh, call it a weekend unless somebody calls. We don't have any more dumpsters. There's nothing we can do. Our hands are tied. You think them white stickers help you at all? I mean, I just, I look at these. I can see them. Yeah, I don't really look for the white. No, you can see these. That's what I'm saying. And they make it easier to see, but I don't, if you can't see that, you're blind. It's hard, it, it, it's tricky getting these things lined up perfect without a whole lot of experience and practice. Okay. Other way. It's tricky. Anyone can do it, it just takes a little bit of practice.
And there you go. Just a slight adjustment. Sometimes you can get them on when you're crooked and sometimes you can't. We just have, uh, I have the mechanic going to look at this, give it a once over, grease it, oil change, spark plugs, look at the bearings, just look at everything. Make sure that's operational. You got to keep your stuff in good shape if you want to do this job, especially if you only have one truck and one trailer. If it's, I mean, if it's your livelihood and it breaks down, you're screwed. So you got to take care of your stuff. Well, how would you rate your first day? Out of what? One to ten. Seven. You did do pretty good. Do you, what, what advice would you give somebody who's just starting or learning how to drive? What, did, what advice would you give? Number one, don't be intimidated or scared. Number two, don't overcorrect. Yes. I do that a lot. Yeah. Um, and number three, just have confidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what would you say the biggest thing you learned today? Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Will you do it again? Absolutely. All right, you heard it. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. And hit the thumbs up for Laura. We got to follow her around. And I, you know, you got homeowners and people on the street. And then I stick a camera in her fucking face. <laughs> You know, so, Maybe of I course, I said the F word, yeah. <laughs> but uh, all in all, a good day. She actually, we got uh, two picked up and dumped and four set, and then we were sold out. And what, we left at like 8.15 and got back at 3? Yep. Yeah. So, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, keep up with the journey here growing this business. Yeah. She's going to be the uh, the main boss here pretty soon. She's going to be my boss in a couple of months. So gotcha. she's uh, we're going to work her in. She's going to take over this entire business. And uh, obviously I'll still be driving from time to time. She's going to be doing a lot of the driving at first, learning the business. And then we're going to start getting her into uh, marketing and sales um, and learning all the financials and so stuff like that. To me when you call. Yeah, yep. So hit the thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.